Hi, it's Allie with Seattle Coffee Gear, and today we're talking about Ristrato shots again. Um, so our last video that we did, we had a lot of comments talking about other ways to do Ristretto, which is totally accurate. There are lots of different ways to do it. Um, so the way that I did it, as it was called, was the lazy man way, which I thought was funny. But if you know you like Ristretto shots and you want to dial your espresso machine in to do those all the time, um, this is the video for you. We're going to talk about how to do that. So I have the same setup as before. I've got my R58 here and the Eureka Adam 75. And today I'm dialing in Ristretto shots of Phantom Limb from Huckleberry. Um, so this is going to be actually more of a fruit forward coffee. So not usually the one I would choose for this style, but I thought it would be um, interesting to say the least. So I already got this kind of set up and dialed in. But basically what I do for Ristretto shots whenever I know I'm going to dial it in this way is I just start off pretty heavy, heavy handed on the dose. So I went ahead and just max it out at 21 grams. So pretty full here, 21.2. I'm going to take a little bit from the top, perfect, 21 even. Try to be as even as possible with my tamp. Brush away any excess. All right, dual boiler. Don't have to flush it, but I just like to make sure there's no coffee left over from the last shot. And then for these shots too, what I've done is I basically, I'm trying to get smaller output in the same amount of time as I would for a classic shot. So we'll go ahead and start the timer, kick it on. And then essentially what I'm doing, this is a, called a one-to-one -one ratio, right? So for every gram of coffee you put in the portafilter, you're getting a gram out. So we're doing 21 grams in, 21 grams out, basically like a single. And then this was dropping for me or finishing around 29 or 30 seconds. So we'll see how this one does. Still the same drop at around five seconds. Perfect. So right at 31 seconds is when it finished there for 21 grams out. And then I did this at a little bit of a higher temperature, 203 at the brew head, just because it is a little bit lighter. It's um, actually, I think this one must have like a natural part to it because it really does smell super fruity and juicy. Yeah, totally. So Ristretto shots like this, they're going to be super punchy, as my coworker John would say. He always dials our espresso in like this in the uh, break room. So um, we drink our espresso like this pretty often. So it's going to be pretty heavy bodied. It's going to coat your mouth completely, um, be pretty heavy on the flavors. And it usually helps stick out whenever you're putting a lot of milk as well. Um, so if you're doing some heavier like cappuccino drinks or something like that, definitely worth a shot. I think for this one, this is a little bright for me for a ristretto style shot. So I would go for something more classic. But other than that, I still think it tastes pretty good. Definitely worth a shot. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we will see you next time. Cheers.